أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم O Prophet, fear Allah and hearken not to the unbelievers and the hypocrites. Verily, Allah is full of knowledge and wisdom. But follow that which comes to you by inspiration from your Lord. For Allah is well acquainted with all that you do. And put your trust in Allah and enough is Allah as a disposer of affairs. Allah has not made for any man two hearts in his one body. Nor has he made your wives whom you divorce by zihar your mothers. Nor has he made your adopted sons your sons. Such is only your manner of speech by your mouths. But Allah tells you the truth and he shows you the right way. Call them by the names of their fathers. That is juster in the sight of Allah. But if you know not their fathers' names, call them your brothers in faith or your maulas. But there is no blame on you if you make a mistake therein. What counts is the intention of your hearts. And Allah is oft forgiving, most merciful. The Prophet is closer to the believers than their own selves, and his wives are their mothers. Blood relations among each other have closer personal ties in the decree of Allah than the brotherhood of believers and muhajirs. Nevertheless, do you what is just to your closest friends, such is the writing of the decree of Allah. And remember, we took from the prophets their covenant, as we did from you, from Noah, Abraham, Moses, and Jesus the son of Mary, we took from them a solemn covenant. That Allah may question the custodians of truth concerning the truth they were charged with, and he has prepared for the unbelievers a grievous penalty. O you who believe, remember the grace of Allah bestowed on you when there came down on you hosts to overwhelm you. But we sent against them a hurricane and forces that you saw not. But Allah sees clearly all that you do. Behold, they came on you from above you and from below you. And behold, the eyes became dim and the hearts gaped up to the throats. And you imagined various vain thoughts about Allah. In that situation where the believers tried, they were shaken as by a tremendous shaking. And behold, the hypocrites and those in whose hearts is a disease even say, Allah and his messenger promised us nothing but delusions. Behold, a party among them said, You men of Yathrib, you cannot stand the attack, therefore go back. And a band of them asked for leave of the Prophet, saying, Truly our houses are bare and exposed. Though they were not exposed, they intended nothing but to run away. And if an entry had been effected to them from the sides of the city, and they had been incited to sedition, they would certainly have brought it to pass with none but a brief delay. And yet they had already covenanted with Allah not to turn their backs and a covenant with Allah must surely be answered for. Say, running away will not profit you if you are running away from death or slaughter, and even if you do escape, no more than a brief respite will you be allowed to enjoy. Say, who is it that can screen you from Allah if it be his wish to give you punishment or to give you mercy? Nor will they find for themselves besides Allah any protector or helper. Verily Allah knows those among you who keep back men and those who say to their brethren, Come along to us, but come not to the fight except for just a little while. Covetous over you, then when fear comes, you will see them looking to you, their eyes revolving, like those of one over whom hovers death. But when the fear is past, they will smite you with sharp tongues, covetous of goods, such men have no faith, and so Allah has made their deeds of none effect, and that is easy for Allah. They think that the confederates have not withdrawn, and if the confederates should come again, they would wish they were in the deserts wandering among the Bedouins, and seeking news about you from a safe distance. And if they were in your midst, 
they would fight but little. You have indeed in the Messenger of Allah a beautiful pattern of conduct for anyone whose hope is in Allah and the final day and who engages much in the praise of Allah. When the believers saw the confederate forces, they said, This is what Allah and his messenger had promised us, and Allah and his messenger told us what was true, and it only added to their faith and their zeal in obedience. Among the believers are men who have been true to their covenant with Allah. Of them, some have completed their vow to the extreme, and some still wait. But they have never changed their determination in the least. That Allah may reward the men of truth for their truth, and punish the hypocrites, if that be his will, or turn to them in mercy. For Allah is oft forgiving, most merciful. And Allah turned back the unbelievers for all their fury, no advantage did they gain. And enough is Allah for the believers in their fight. And Allah is full of strength, able to enforce His will. And those are the people of the book who aided them. Allah did take them down from their strongholds, and cast terror into their hearts, so that some you slew and some you made prisoners. And He made you heirs of their lands, their houses, and their goods, and of a land which you had not frequented before. And Allah has power over all things. O Prophet, say to your consorts, If it be that you desire the life of this world and its glitter, then come. I will provide for your enjoyment and set you free in a handsome manner. But if you seek Allah and his messenger, and the home of the hereafter, verily, Allah has prepared for the well-doers amongst you a great reward. O consorts of the Prophet, if any of you were guilty of evident unseemly conduct, the punishment would be doubled to her, and that is easy for Allah. But any of you that is devout in the service of Allah and his messenger, and works righteousness, to her shall we grant her reward twice, and we have prepared for her a generous sustenance. O consorts of the Prophet, you are not like any of the other women, if you do fear Allah, be not too complacent of speech, lest one in whose heart is a disease should be moved with desire, but speak you a speech that is just. And stay quietly in your houses, and make not a dazzling display like that of the former times of ignorance, and establish regular prayer, and give regular charity, and obey Allah and his messenger. And Allah only wishes to remove all abomination from you, your members of the family, and to make you pure and spotless. And recite what is rehearsed to you in your homes, of the signs of Allah and his wisdom. For Allah understands the finest mysteries, and is well acquainted with them. For Muslim men and women, for believing men and women, for devout men and women, for true men and women, for men and women who are patient and constant, for men and women who humble themselves, for men and women who give in charity, for men and women who fast and deny themselves, for men and women who guard their chastity, and for men and women who engage much in Allah's praise. For them has Allah prepared forgiveness and great reward. It is not fitting for a believer, man or woman, when a matter has been decided by Allah and his messenger, to have any option about their decision. If anyone disobeys Allah and his messenger, he is indeed on a clearly wrong path. Behold, you did say to one who had received the grace of Allah and your favor, Retain you in wedlock your wife and fear Allah. But you did hide in your heart that which Allah was about to make manifest. You did fear the people, but it is more fitting that you should fear Allah. Then when Zayd had dissolved his marriage with her, with the necessary formality, we joined her in marriage to you, in order that in future there may be no difficulty to the believers in the matter of marriage with the wives of their adopted sons, when the latter have dissolved with the necessary formality their marriage with them, and Allah's command must be fulfilled.
there can be no difficulty to the Prophet in what Allah has indicated to him as a duty. It was the practice approved of Allah amongst those of old that have passed away, and the command of Allah is a decree determined. It is the practice of those who preach the messages of Allah and fear Him and fear none but Allah and enough is Allah to call men to account. Muhammad is not the father of any of your men but he is the messenger of Allah and the seal of the prophets and Allah has full knowledge of all things. O you who believe, celebrate the praises of Allah and do so often and glorify him morning and evening. He it is who sends blessings on you, as do his angels, that he may bring you out from the depths of darkness into light, and he is full of mercy to the believers. Their salutation on the day they meet him will be peace, and he has prepared for them a generous reward. O Prophet, truly we have sent you as a witness, a bearer of glad tidings, and a warner. And as one who invites to Allah's grace by his leave, and as a lamp spreading light. Then give the glad tidings to the believers, that they shall have from Allah a very great bounty. And obey not the behests of the unbelievers, and the hypocrites, and heed not their annoyances. But put your trust in Allah, for enough is Allah as a disposer of affairs. O you who believe, when you marry believing women and then divorce them before you have touched them, no period of idda have you to count in respect of them. So give them a present and set them free in a handsome manner. O Prophet, we have made lawful to you your wives to whom you have paid their dowers, and those whom your right hand possesses out of the prisoners of war whom Allah has assigned to you and daughters of your paternal uncles and aunts, and daughters of your maternal uncles and aunts, who migrated from Makkah with you. And any believing woman who dedicates her soul to the Prophet, if the Prophet wishes to wed her, this only for you and not for the believers at large. We know what we have appointed for them as to their wives, and the captives whom their right hands possess, in order that there should be no difficulty for you. And Allah is oft forgiving, most merciful. You may defer the turn of any of them that you please, and you may receive any you please. And there is no blame on you if you invite one whose turn you had set aside. This were nigher to the cooling of the eyes, the prevention of their grief, and their satisfaction, that of all of them, with that which you have to give them. And Allah knows all that is in your hearts. And Allah is all-knowing, most forbearing. It is not lawful for you to marry more women after this, nor to change them for other wives, even though their beauty attract you, except any your right hand should possess as handmaidens. And Allah does watch over all things. O you who believe, enter not the Prophet's houses, until leave is given you, for a meal, and then not so early as to wait for its preparation, but when you are invited, enter, and when you have taken your meal, disperse without seeking familiar talk. Such behavior annoys the Prophet. He is ashamed to dismiss you, but Allah is not ashamed to tell you the truth. And when you ask his ladies for anything you want, ask them from before a screen, that makes for greater purity for your hearts and for theirs. Nor is it right for you that you should annoy Allah's messenger, or that you should marry his widows after him at any time. Truly such a thing is in Allah's sight an enormity. Whether you reveal anything or conceal it, verily Allah has full knowledge of all things. There is no blame on those ladies if they appear before their fathers, or their sons, their brothers, or their brothers' sons, or their sisters' sons, or their women, or the slaves whom their right hands possess, and ladies, fear Allah, for Allah is witness to all things. 
Allah and his angels send blessings on the Prophet. O you that believe, send you blessings on him, and salute him with all respect. Those who annoy Allah and his messenger, Allah has cursed them in this world and in the hereafter, and has prepared for them a humiliating punishment. And those who annoy believing men and women undeservedly, bear on themselves a calumny and a glaring sin. O Prophet, tell your wives and daughters, and the believing women, that they should cast their outer garments over their persons, when abroad, that is most convenient, that they should be known as such and not molested, and Allah is oft forgiving, most merciful. Truly, if the hypocrites and those in whose hearts is a disease, and those who spread false rumors in the city, desist not, we shall certainly stir you up against them. Then will they not be able to stay in it, as your neighbors for any length of time. They shall have a curse on them, wherever they are found. They shall be seized and slain without mercy. Such was the practice approved of Allah among those who lived aforetime. No change will you find in the practice approved of Allah. Men ask you concerning the hour. Say, the knowledge thereof is with Allah alone, and what will make you understand? Perhaps the hour is nigh. Verily, Allah has cursed the unbelievers, and prepared for them a blazing fire. To dwell therein forever, no protector will they find, no helper. The day that their faces will be turned upside down in the fire, they will say, Woe to us, would that we had obeyed Allah and obeyed the Messenger. And they would say, Our Lord, we obeyed our chiefs and our great ones, and they misled us as to the right path. Our Lord give them double penalty and curse them with a very great curse. O you who believe, be you not like those who vexed and insulted Moses? But Allah cleared him of the calumnies they had uttered, and he was honorable in Allah's sight. O you who believe, fear Allah, and always say a word directed to the right, that he may make your conduct whole and sound, and forgive you your sins. He that obeys Allah and his messenger has already attained the highest achievement. We did indeed offer the trust to the heavens and the earth and the mountains, but they refused to undertake it, being afraid thereof. But man undertook it. He was indeed unjust and foolish. With the result that Allah has to punish the hypocrites, men and women, and the unbelievers, men and women, and Allah turns in mercy to the believers, men and women, for Allah is oft forgiving. Most merciful.